Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Wiendel, and today I would like to introduce the new milling turning functions of the TNC controls to you. The TNC 640 and the TNC 7 offer you a wide range of functions regarding turning operations with milling machines. These include simple cycle controlled programs, blank form updating, inclined and simultaneous machining, and the incorporation of a wide range of technologies, such as eccentric turning, facing slide turning, and interpolation turning. The comprehensive and realistic program simulation rounds out the package. This means that the TNC controls offer you a very large machining spectrum for milling turning. Two software options are available to you. Option 50 for simple milling turning machining and Option 158V2 for advanced milling turning operations, such as simultaneous turning and simultaneous roughing. Let's take a detailed look at these functions. A large package of turning cycles for longitudinal or facing operations, recessing, recess turning and threading is available for milling turning machining. Simple shoulders are supported here, as well as freeform and complex contours. If you activate automatic blank form updating, the NC control always knows what the workpiece looks like at any given time, and the cycles then optimize the paths to reliably avoid air cuts and collisions. You can easily define any angle of inclination between the turning tool and the workpiece per cycle, regardless of the machine. This greatly simplifies the programming of even complex contours where different tools are used. As a unique selling point, the TNC controls offer the possibility of simultaneous roughing and finishing of turning contours. This means that the user no longer has to worry about the correct angles of inclination between tools and workpieces. He simply programs the contour of the workpiece blank and the finished part in the appropriate cycle. The TNC controls then automatically calculate suitable inclination angles in order to machine the contour without collision. If necessary, the angle of inclination is varied dynamically, that is, simultaneously in the cut. Taking a detour through the cam system is not necessary, and all machining operations are programmed directly on the control. This means that you can also adjust parameters for the technology or the cutting data directly at the control at any time. Even the free turn tools, in which the indexable insert is rotated in the tool holder, are supported. Here, the TNC uses the tool spindle to vary the angle of inclination. A corresponding tilting axis is not necessary for this simultaneous movement. Since the range of workpieces cannot always be covered by the classic clamping situation, that is, with the workpiece and turning contour centered on the table, the TNC controls also support other functions regarding milling turning. One of these is eccentric turning. Here, the workpiece is not clamped in the center of the table, and so the control compensates for this eccentricity in X and Y during the turning movement. There are no restrictions on the available turning cycles. All cycles can be programmed, even incline and simultaneous machining, and blank form updating is also possible. Another function is turning with a facing slide. Non-rotationally symmetrical workpieces occasionally require turning operations on surfaces that are not parallel to the rotary axis in the table. For example, machining operations on flanges. Here, the TNC controls offer a fully integrated and powerful solution with the facing slide, which is also fully supported by the turning cycles. And the third function I would like to show you is interpolation turning. Although it doesn't belong directly to milling turning, it is also a very interesting possibility on the milling machine. Interpolation turning is a simple variation offered by the TNC controls in addition to using a facing slide. Here, simple machining cycles and a contour description are used to execute an interpolated movement with the tool spindle in order to create concentric surface structures. For example, for sealing surfaces, this technology can be used on pure milling machines without additional hardware and, of course, in a tilted working plane.
während oder during or after programming, we can check the results in the simulation, including milling, turning and drilling operations. Sehr praktisch. The model comparison with the finished part can also be very practical, allowing us to quickly recognize any residual material. The TNC controls support this not only with just a pure simulation of the workpiece. If required, the entire machine can be simulated, including collision monitoring and limit switches. This enables us to check the complete machining process realistically ahead of time in order to avoid downtime during machining later on. As you can see, the TNC-7 and TNC-640 offer a very wide range of functions for milling turning. If you would like more information on the functions described here, please feel free to contact our sales department.